Ah, uh, see, this would be great if Isaac had like a little jingle and then we will just be like, have this as our extra episode. So like, <gasps> instead of an intro, we'll just have a movie review or something. Oh my god, I know shit. what you did last summer is on here now. <laughs> that would be sweet. Right? And then we'll just be like, oh my god, guys, we watched another movie. <laughs> That'll be our new intro for these. <laughs> yeah, who's leading? Because I um, love that. Dun, dun, dun. Good question. I mean, I don't have, like, any notes, really, or anything. I'm <sighs> Okay. <clears throat> I'm not. Yeah, I mean. Are you going to shut up? Or... Are you, <laughs> you going to shut up so I can do this? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just... Go ahead. Okay. Are you sure? No. Okay. No. Well, welcome back to our podcast. I'm Bree. I'm Isaac. And I'm Kelsey. And we're doing a movie review. This sounds very yeah. like, hot right now. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah. Oh, well, right. okay. Let me explain. Normally, we record during the daytime when everybody is all full of pep and energy and ready to go. <laughs> Bitch, it's like 10 o'clock right now. I'm fucking tired. Okay? <laughs> if I want to get all up and close and personal with my microphone, bitch, you know I'm going to do it. <laughs> anyway, so today's episode will be a movie review. The movie was Reanimator. Reanimator. It's based on a story by H.P. Lovecraft. And as I was watching the movie, I realized that I read that story back really? in the day. Yeah. Oh. I was like, well, this is really familiar. I think I read this. <laughs> Nice. But I don't recall a lot of the details. Just like one of the, one of the scenes near the beginning, I was like, "Oh yeah, def- this is definitely familiar." Okay, before we like really get into the nitty gritty and shit, I have a quick question. Okay. Yep. Were you supposed to take this movie serious? I literally told okay. you not. No, no, to. I know, I know. I couldn't remember if it was for this one or if it was for the other one, and yeah, I just wanted to be sure. Yeah, that was that was my feeling too going into it. Like yeah. it started out like okay, okay, it's a horror the movie. The theme in the beginning and then... didn't give you a clue. Well, <laughs> like, that's why I was getting asking. suspicious because like I remember like in our discussion from our last episode was that um like one of the movies it was either the Reanimator or that Suspiria. S- S- Suspiria. There we go. It was either one of those where I wasn't supposed to take it serious, like it was supposed to be a joke, and they knew it, or they were making fun of it, or some shit. Yeah. So, like, when I was watching it, yeah, yeah, so when I was watching it, I was like, okay, you know, I think this is the movie that I'm not supposed to be taking seriously, and the makeup seriously made me doubt whether or not I wasn't supposed to take it seriously. <laughs> You're not supposed <laughs> to take it seriously. Yeah, because I was just like, I, I was I was high as fuck when I watched that. And like, I'm just sitting here and I was just like, okay, so it, it's kind of basic. You got the really creepy dude. Like, the, the that honestly was like the scariest part for me was just how fucking creepy those two dudes were. Like, yeah, before we, I, like, West and Hill, like they fucking freaked me the fuck before out. Before we get too yeah, deep into it, I they should care. probably know the basic premise. Oh, yeah. So far, all they know is that it's an H.P. Lovecraft story. Yes. Okay. I'm sorry. I probably interrupted Isaac. So, Isaac, please continue with your summary of movie. Uh, (laughs) That was it. I didn't have anything else. I wasn't going anywhere. Oh, shit. Okay. So, basically, this dude named West. I can't remember his name. Uh, yeah, that that dude. He was studying with this well-known German doctor, and some funky shit happens in the beginning. And oh god, the blood from the eyes. Anyway, <laughs> uh, then he gets transferred to this hospital or whatever in America, and he's got to study and shit with these other dudes. And um, then you got like this cute in the face, but Jesus Christ, his body was so fucking skinny, guy. <laughs> that was oh. Really- the oh, main dude, you mean? Yeah. What's up? I was so confused. <laughs> what was even the main dude's name? I um, can't remember his name now. Oh, no. Male oh, I protagonist. Want I want you guys to struggle now. <laughs> Let me know when you're done, when you're ready. I can give you the name. I know his um, name. I know you know his name. 
and I do not know names, so therefore, I tap out. His name is Dan. Oh, Dan. Dan. God damn it. Literally just male protagonist. Yeah. yeah. My God. It's literally the easiest name. That's why I'm laughing at you right now. Bob. <laughs> Frank. Yeah, pretty much. Jim. It is... Even his girlfriend's name is basic, dude. Like I know. Okay. Meg. Probably I why remember I'm... her name. <laughs> just Meg. <laughs> but anyway, so Mr. West goes and be becomes a roommate for Dan. And then super fucking creepy roommate. With... Super fucking creepy roommate. Never leaves his room and yeah. But he was, like, Mr. West was, like, super dedicated to his studies and all this other shit, and did he kill the cat? I love how you, like, keep calling him Mr. West, <laughs> by the way, as if he's, like, <laughs> like some sort of dude. I don't know. Oh, but did he God. kill the cat or no? Um, I don't remember. <sighs> because in the movie, he said that the cat got in the garbage and got his head stuck in a jar. He says that. Yeah. I, pretty... I mean, it could have gone either way. Honestly. I'm pretty sure he killed the cat. I, yeah, yeah, I'm thinking he killed the fucking cat. <laughs> but at the same time, like, when you look know. at his character throughout the, like, the rest of the movie, like, he's just brutally honest, but, like, twisting his words at first. Yeah, I feel like he would have been like, yeah, I did it. I'm, tr I'm trying to do science here, bruh. Yeah. I did it. But, like, in that Herbert West way. Yeah. Yeah. This is true. This is true. Yeah. Because he, at first, like, when you ask him something, like, he, he will either, like, dodge the question or he will, like, twist it into something else. Like, we need to focus on this instead. It's like, yeah, like, I never got the vibe that he was evil. It's just he was fucking insane and selfish. Like, yeah, I exactly. Very dedicated to his work. Insane yeah. and selfish. Yeah. Very uh, driven. But anyway, so I think I personally think he killed the cat. But the 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 Dan's cat died, and then like it turns out like the fucking Mr. West dude Herbert whatever, um, could bring things back to life. So he brought the cat back. They got into a big old tussle with the fucking cat. <laughs> that was funny. And then you know, <laughs> they went into the morgue in the hospital and. This this part, okay, this part I actually really fucking liked. So they brought back, uh, what was it, in peak physical condition dead dude that, like, probably died from, like, heart failure or some shit like that. They used the serum to bring him back, and he, like, went on, like, a roid fucking fest. Like, started throwing things and, like, smashing shit and, like, trying to hurt everybody and it was just, you know, it was fucking nuts. But my favorite part was the goddamn makeup on that dude. Yeah. I yeah. <laughs> loved it. Like, the minute I saw that, I was like, I know what that is. I can't remember what it's called, but I know what that is, and that looks really good. Cool. Yeah, there were some pretty cool effects they had. Yeah. Even other, if they were cheesy. Yeah, there was I one. It was kind of fun. There was one section, and it was actually before, like, you see, like, the full dude. Um, It was the fucking veins that they put on the side of his head. Like, you could see the edging of the the veins and stuff. And I was like, oh, man. And then I saw the bruising, and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, <laughs> you went from, like, really shitty to, like, really great. But, yeah, then the Dean dude, like, died. Got squished. And then, oh, that's right. The Dean was Meg's dad. Yeah, he got he got turned into yeah. one of the zombies, I think. Yeah. You want to know a fun fact? You want to know a fun fact? Want to know how many gallons of fake blood they used in this movie? Oh my god, it's um, gotta be a lot. A shit ton. It's gotta be. So, according to makeup artist John, last name I can't pronounce, until reanimator, he had never used more than two gallons of fake blood on any single project. On this one, he used 24. 24 Damn. gallons. Jesus. That's nuts. Respect. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. <laughs> but, yeah. I and thought. there was a shit ton of blood, that's for sure. Oh my god, it's like... Pretty uh, excellent the stuff. The fucking part where, like, the... What is it? The creepy doctor, Dr. Hill, got his Ugh. head fucking chopped off with a shovel and then had that's to sit in funny. a tub of blood for, like, the rest of the movie. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I, hate I was like... Uh, the whole time, though, I'm just sitting there like, how the fuck 
<laughs> is he talking? Yes! Can someone explain this to me? <laughs> Like, okay, they're just not even attempting to adhere to reality anymore. No. Nope. <laughs> but man, that, that fucking, that whole molestation part, that was, oh. That, that was, was disturbing. So, I that, told you. That part was and, disturbing. You know, it was like. I watched that with my whoa, dad. They went there. I told you that was in the movie. Why did you watch that with your dad? He just happened to be there. <laughs> Honest to God, I was just sitting here smoking my weed, watching the video, and he just comes in, and like we're just sitting there, like passing it back and forth to each other. We're just like, oh my God, I'm some intense shit, man. I, I would know. not watch that with a parent. I'm not my dad. <laughs> oh, it was right around the cat part that I really started to kind of be like, okay. This clearly isn't taking itself that seriously. No, I and mean, the people oh my God. Tell me them less seriously, by the way. The serum yeah. itself was like radioactive, glowy green. Hello. <laughs> I love that aesthetic for them, honestly. <laughs> I know. I thought it was just like really cheesy and bad at first, but then it's like, yeah, once I realized more what they were doing, I was like, oh no, it's super cheesy, but in a kind of glorious way. Yeah. Yeah. You see the dead cat just laying on the table. It's like how just horribly fake it looks. It's like, <laughs> okay. There's, they definitely could have done better. Come on. Yeah. Now they kind of, oh my god. <laughs> that was pretty great. Yeah. Oh. I was, oh man, what was it? The part where Herbert was getting the, the hole drilled into his head with the laser. Like, he didn't even oh, yeah. scream the, the, like, at all. Seriously, just kind of like, oh no. Yeah. Oh no. Like, I was noticing that, I was now. like, boy, if I was getting a fucking laser, like, into my skull, just, I'm going to be freaking out. Yeah. <laughs> no. And there were so many boobies and penises everywhere. There was a gratuitous amount of tits in that movie, man. Like, so really even well. in the beginning when they're like pad doing the pad <laughs> on that old lady, I'm like, why? Why are her tits out? Like, yeah. I've never, <laughs> I've never seen an old lady's tits before. On TV. I mean, I have. I watch a lot of horror movies, but like, I've never seen somebody's like chest that was a female's chest before in like regards to a medical scene like that, where they're like trying to bring her back to life. Yeah. 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 yeah that's that true. What they do, but go off. Just completely rip off all their clothing. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. And, uh, <laughs> and, then, and then, like, oh my god, the fucking security guard, man. <laughs> oh, him. I love the security guard. He's like, he's oh, great. I'm going to take a break. As he's like rolling up a fucking nudie mag with his goddamn cigar. <laughs> like, comes back and everything's like going down. He's just like, oh. Everything's going oh, down oh. and his first reaction is like almost nothing. He just kind of looks at it like, what the fuck is happening here? Yes. Like this, yeah. headless okay. just moving. Oh, God, yeah, he's just like, uh, he doesn't scream or <laughs> scream or anything. He just kind of, what the no. fuck is that? Am I Honestly, going crazy? Probably a smart move on his part to just like look at it, not make a noise, and just fucking leave. <laughs> right. I'm not doing this. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, that was fucking hilarious. <laughs> Like, so yeah, fucking funny. Yeah, that was pretty great. Yeah, there were some good characters in this movie, I thought. I honestly I thought, stand Mr. West. I don't care. Yeah, but, I thought he was great. And the actor who played him did a really good job of, like, yeah. captioning that character. Yeah, he did fucking phenomenal, but... Hmm. Jesus fucking Christ, man. <laughs> he had, like, some of the best one-liners, too. I was like, he oh. did. He did. Man after yeah. my own heart. He, he, yeah. He, yeah, no, I really enjoyed his character. Fucking yeah. hated Meg. That was a good script. <laughs> she was such a fucking ugh. God damn Why? it. She was so dull. She was dull. She was dull, but at the same time, it's like, of course, there's a whole scene where he's she's trying to talk him out of, you know, everything and mm -hmm. not associate himself, himself with West and all that. And she's totally right. If he had just done what she said, 
so much shit could have been avoided, but so he's just like, shit. no, shut up, Meg. <laughs> like, her, her character was either like moaning in sex or yeah, but she would how be, we meet her. she would keep like, saying, if you just let me talk to him and then screaming. Yeah. Pretty much. And I felt lots bad for like what she screaming. got, but yeah, she yeah. Didn't, certainly didn't deserve anything that bad. But no, she was oh kind of yeah. She's very um high maintenance. <laughs> That's for damn sure. <laughs> <laughs> but I liked it. Yeah, it was a lot of yeah, fun to watch. I, I liked it. It was fun, and yeah, it was a good script and. Pretty decent acting, even if it was overacted, you know, at times. Oh my it's god. Like they were, <laughs> it's obvious what they were going for, you know. Yeah, they, they did a good job getting their message across. I don't know what their message was, but sure, yeah. Something funny. That's all it was. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, nah, I liked it. Wait, are we all on the same page for one? Yeah, what do you mean once? We only did one movie review. Yeah, well, that was... I was very heated. By it should have been too done by now, but somebody didn't want to watch the movie with probably one of the greatest murder weapons ever. Oh my God. Actually, actually, no, 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 no. It what? wasn't just that one. There was also supposed to be the one that we saw in theaters. That oh, didn't yeah. And then there was too? the one that was nobody's fault because it got removed from Shudder. Yeah. So oh, we should, we should, this should be our fourth one. Yeah. <laughs> We've been planning movies for a while. Oops. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> like, we weren't saying who it was, but... I mean, I think it's <laughs> fairly obvious. <laughs> it was no one's fault. It just happened. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, funny. guys. <laughs> I don't know, this movie just kind of makes me feel a little bit better, because I know I can be, like, super pretentious with my, my horror movies. But then I remember, like, I like movies like this, and Killer Clowns from Outer Space, and Puppet Master, and <laughs> Ride of Chucky, so I'm not as pretentious as I kind of come off sometimes. Because <laughs> this obviously is not a serious movie. No. Like, it's not. It's not yeah, movie. the part where he... Somehow he takes the bone saw and somehow puts it all the way through the fucking I, I, <laughs> reanimated. It's like, how is that possible? <laughs> and then the fucking roided out goddamn intestine coming out to strangle oh, that him. Was that was very Evil Dead. I was kind of into that. <laughs> oh, that's true. That's another one oh. we might have to review. That part, oh man, when that happened, like my dad, like fucking jumped back, and I looked at him, and I was like, oh, "What? What? <laughs> like, <laughs> I get, I, I can understand like a jump scare, but I was so <laughs> unexpected. Well, I didn't. Yeah, I, yeah, I thought that he was gonna was. inject the body with the overdose, and then the body was like gonna explode or something. You know, I didn't think that was gonna happen, and it's like, oh no, Ed West is dead too. It was just like, what the fuck just happened? He just got murdered by a fucking mm -hmm. roid rage. What, 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 what is that for? He's not dead. I or thought he get, got killed. Oh, honey. What? Oh, honey. What? He is not dead. What? What makes oh, you say well, that? Oh, well, there's more movies, aren't there? There's, oh. this, there's a sequel that came out in 1990 called Bride of Reanimator that takes place eight months after, and there's a scene met with the headless uh, Dr. Hill guy, comes back for his revenge, and like he uses uh, uh, his psychic power uh, 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 oh. to stitch bat, to have somebody stitch bat wings onto his head, and so he comes over to Dan and Herbert's oh, house yeah. well, fly, uh, like just with his bat wings coming out of his head, like attacking them, just like, with just is that on Shudder? I want to watch that. that. Sounds, um, I don't know if it's on Shudder. It's fantastic. not as good as the, the original, but like that scene just makes me so happy for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it has. He's alive in that. Oh, it is oh, on Shudder. Well, bitch, it's on Shudder. Well, it looked like he died. I mean, I'm absolutely shit. watching this tonight. I had this on uh, 
DVD when I was a kid. Oh, really? Yes. Damn. Because yeah. that was the only, like, horror movies I was really allowed to watch was, like, <laughs> bad ones. Yeah. That weren't scared me. But, yeah, it's directed like, about the society, which is also a weird fucking movie. I remember <laughs> being scared of, like, gremlins when I was a kid. That one scared the crap out of me when I was little. <laughs> I love that for you. <laughs> what? This is scary. I'm talking when I was like five or six. I'm not judging I don't even you. remember. No, no, Isaac. It's they okay. They were scary. You know what movie scared me when I was a kid? What? The Goofy movie. <laughs> what? <laughs> there were some parts that were a little bit, I remember being like a little bit like eerie, maybe, like uncanny kind of. But. <laughs> Listen. I don't think it was Listen. scary. <laughs> you listen to me right now. Sorry, I need a moment. <laughs> yeah, that's worse. It was the that's fucking beginning worse. part, man. It was that nightmare he had. Okay, that always okay, scared okay. the shit out of me. And because I got so I scared, I'm talking like shaking. Creepy. Like I was so fucking freaked out. I couldn't enjoy the rest of the movie. <laughs> Man. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. It was when he got really tall and like grew those big teeth. <laughs> like it was scary. <laughs> oh my god. It was oh, scary. I love that. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I, Gremlins is more scary than a goofy movie, but he wins. <laughs> yeah, those little fuckers are creepy. <laughs> it was just that like, part. To be fair, I was scared of like, what was. Have you guys ever seen Chitty Chitty Bang Bang? I've oh heard yeah! That. Oh my God! What is that? The child catcher, man. The child catcher. Oh, that legitimately fucking terrifying. I agree. Yeah, he fucked yeah. me up. Uh, it's a musical, Brie. It's oh, never mind. It's a good movie. It's a good movie, but the child catcher is fucking <laughs> terrifying. That's so that and like um awful, yeah. Oh my God! Besides the X Files theme, which everybody has laughed at me for being scared of, like fuck off. <laughs> that, really think of it. Yeah, that was creepy as shit. Oh, um, oh, the child. <laughs> I'm looking at him right now. I'm terrified. <laughs> so, I guess the a night on Bald Mountain and Fantasia was scary too, but yeah, I was really creeped out by that one the first time I saw it too, for <laughs> sure. Out of five spools on Shutter, how many did you? How many did you give this movie? How many would you give this movie? How about that? Let's let's give a rating. Um. I would give it... Based on, like, enjoyability. Leave... Enjoyability? <laughs> I would say four. I would say four. Because it was not super long. It didn't feel like it dragged on at any point. And it was just a very highly entertaining movie with some some good writing and good execution and, yeah, some decent acting for the what they were going for. The kind of horror comedy aspect. I Three. would probably give it a three and a half. Uh, three and a half. Um, <laughs> only at like I completely agree with everything that Isaac's saying, except I probably wouldn't watch it again. Oh, this is true. This is yeah, true. like it, it was. It I'll was watch fun the first it time, if but I, I don't... watched it with someone else. Yeah, like it would it's have to be like a special special occasion. Yeah, or like I watch it like just for shits and giggles, but like I don't think like I would ever really make the decision to watch it again. Yeah. Yeah. That's that, that that was a one time watch movie for me. <laughs> so I mean I liked it, but I, I won't watch it again <laughs> by myself. Well, can't relate, obviously, because this is like my fourth time watching it. <laughs> Probably I would think I would give it not five, but like a four, four and a half. Because it's I have such fond memories and I really like stupid movies that are good. Yeah. And this is a stupid movie that is good. Yeah, it was good fun. Yeah, and I would definitely would love to show it to our special friend Josh because I feel like he would hate it so much. Yeah. Like, so much. Stupid. <laughs> it is stupid though. It is. It is. I mean, shit. Yeah, and the gore was great, but um, yeah, I don't really, but yeah, I really know so, what else to say about it. To my episode like longer than ten minutes. It's enjoyable. It, it was an enjoyable movie. Um, 
Don't take what I say too much to heart, though, because I like to just touch and go. That's, that's yeah, you're not things. like really a re a rewatcher. No, of it. I I don't rewatch movies. I don't rewatch TV shows. I don't reread books unless I really fucking like it, and that's really rare. I am a touch and go person. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was our review, summary, whatever, of Reanimator. Um, make sure to give us a like and follow on Instagram and Facebook. We are now on Podbean, Spotify, and YouTube, so make sure you follow us on one of those three platforms, or all three. It's up to you. Do what you want. And, uh, yeah, we will be back the Friday afternoon, preferably we'll not recording at 10 p.m. at night. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Adios. Bye. Bye.